Verse number one. Now the young man Samuel was ministering to the Lord under Eli, and the word of the Lord was rare in those days. There was no frequent vision. There was no frequent vision. So Samuel is ministering to the Lord under Eli. And uh, the word of the Lord is rare. Is it possible that people can be doing something and the vision is not there? Yeah, it is possible. People can start a church and run a church, no vision, nothing. People can have a country, run a country, no vision. People can get married and have a family and, and have children. Vision, no vision. People can start an organization, a company, and run it, no vision. No vision. No vision. Uh, I want to discuss uh, the concept of uh, a visionary. And also the visionary watch. Uh, the, the greatest anchor when we talk about vision, about the anchor, you know, anchor any vision is... Um, uh, concept here could be a vision must be a solution provider to issues, to things, to people groups. A vision must bring solutions. If you start a company, start an organization, and your aim or your plan is to make money. There is no vision. That's not the vision. We we can. When I wonder, they do that. We take maswano. We take some abero. We take some kachi. We take some kachi. The vision, yeah. And and when you really get down to the components that govern that vision, you discover it is there is no vision at all. Vision, it's something that comes by God, through God, by the power of the Spirit of God into the life of a person specifically to bring answers, to bring solutions to the challenges that people go through. That's what we call vision. That's what we call a vision. That's not a vision. That's not a vision at all. Anyone who can they do that. But they call it a vision. So, when it comes to support systems, the spiritual, God does not support that. It's yours. It has everything to do with you. You can go ahead and do it. God is not even interested in it. It has nothing to do with you. Maybe you try to, you're trying to make your own name. Maybe you're trying to build your own legacy. You can go ahead and do that. It's not a vision. What is a vision? Definition of vision. Let's go. Definition of vision. Number one, it is the power of seeing. It's something that's coming from sight. These eyes. Seeing something that um, is that is not there. It's not there. But your eyes can see it. Maziso edu ane power rekuona, rinopfura, kuona zunu zuri physical, tangible. Aga sikuwa na mwari, aine capacity iyoyo. But it's not every day that you can see something that is not there. Tuzaka chizo, it's a special vision. Iru nyoro wapana apa, there was no open vision. It doesn't mean good people were not seeing. They were seeing. 
but they were not seeing anything more supernatural than what they could see with physical eyes. So you can see things with your physical eyes, but there's a moment when you start seeing things that are beyond what is there. It is the power of seeing. It's the power of seeing, number one. Number two, dreams. The same definition near vision. But never know my definition near vision. Dream. A dream. In a dream. You can dream of something. And Mari Oya. Okura is a something that you can start or something that you can do. Something that you can uh, you can grow or take to a certain level, a certain dimension. It comes as a dream. It comes as a dream. Uh, it's supernatural. A dream tagarat no we run out, it's supernatural. But you start seeing something, it's not there. You wake up and you know this thing is not in existence anywhere. But you're seeing it. We're having a biography, a strife, my siwa noti, the katanga urota, ma, ma must I, atakuna. They were not even there. He, he, he didn't even understand what he did. He didn't even know what it is. He didn't even know what it is, but he was already seeing it. God was giving him a vision for something that was... Saka, kuno ku Zimbabwe, anga asina exposure to it. Kosa kwa mbitu kwa cell phone, kwa asina anything like that. He was living in a country that did nothing to do with ma, ma mast, a, 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 a networker. And, and he, but he was seeing them. Every time he goes to sleep, that dream comes back again. Here it comes back again. It kicks again in his spirit. Says something has to do with you. This thing and you. You are, you, there's a connection between Iwewe and this system. And he's, he's, he's growing as a young Christian. But he doesn't understand what he's seeing. Because Maragdom Rats are already my visions. And then one day when he goes out of the country, and then he sees this thing, he say, I saw this in my dream, you know, and it kicks right there to say, so this is what I was seeing. Saka, there's a connection between me and this. Please, can I have that? What is this? It's a cell phone. Cell phone, you know, just say, you know, she so, 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 so. Oh, hey, Saka, can we also have this in Africa? Yes, you can. But, uh, and he takes the you know, so, because it was a, something that God had already deposited. Was this true? Can I revision? It has to come from God. God has to deposit something in your life, in your spirit. But you know, we are in the form of Randrutsan Languraishmanj, from a definition. That it, it can come as, a, as something that you are seeing. It's not there, but you're seeing it. It's not there, but you're seeing it. Everyone can understand what you're saying, but you can see it. It's a vision. That's what is called a vision. And then number two, that is it's a dream. So Strife was seeing that in a dream. Um, it's something that's going to be done, but wherever you are a part of it. The fact that you're seeing it in your dream, it means you are a part of it. Let me explain dreams quickly. Let me explain dreams quickly, because uh, my dreams are animal, animal misconceptions are around. That's why when you see something in a dream, um, it's not happening. It's not there. <laughs> it, it's a vision of the night. When you see it, you are being given, it comes to you as an advertisement of something that you can do. It means God has allowed you to be able to connect to that thing. God has allowed you to connect to that thing that shall go on and dream. It means it's not, it's not there yet. But in way way, you can create it. You can make it. You can do it. There is a grace on your life to do it. There is power that God has given to do it. So I don't know what I was going to find this. And this is a Stadium, 
Yes, you can preach. This is all possible. It's an advert. If you rise up and start working, you on a strength, working on the vision, working on the vision, you can achieve it. You can achieve it. Someone say amen. amen. Yeah. It means it's possible. But you have a visa, you have a passport. There's a lot that needs to be done. And it, it's looking for someone who can do it. It's looking for someone. It's a vision. It's looking for someone. And at times, you might not be the only person that will be a vision here. A thousand people just hoping with one wow will rise up and take it up. So if you don't, don't think it's not going to be done. And you are still, how, how did these people do it? Because in but because I didn't do it, someone did it. God, when God is releasing those things, they can come to a lot of people. It's one spirit. It means God is releasing a certain vision for something that is supposed to be done. <laughs> But Bogato wrote it up and Elon Musk. Messi Magarota Pamwe Chete. No, I'm Magato wrote up and we chete, Messi, Mushito in the name Kumun. But when you walk up, I made no interpretation. Yeah, and, and God, God says, what, what else should I have done? But when it, that dream came to Elon Musk, he couldn't wake, he couldn't, he couldn't. Eat. He couldn't do anything. He started working the dream. Working the dream. Working the dream. Guys, when you see a vision, and that vision comes in the form of a dream, you have to be able to wake up and work out the dream. But capacity is there? Yes, it's there. Is it doable? Yes, it's doable. Can you do it? Yes, it means you can do it. Because that's why God has given that dream to you. It means you can do it. It means you can do it. But I was talking about this on Sunday. I said the greatest, the richest place in this world is the cemetery. Because people die with dreams that were never fulfilled. Visions that never came to be. Because um, people are prepared to experience something that they never worked for. <laughs> the joy of everyone is to experience the best of something that they never worked for. Someone say amen. So number one, dream, that is dream. Dream, dream, my dreams, I my visions, I want to know trans, trans look and she teacher, because you know it's a year, which must cut. But Failed. It will be something story like real, you know, like 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 and something kicks in, just kicks in. It's not going to go to service. Wow, you see something, sir. What is it? But one of the reasons I was to put up service, but I'm going to motor it. Wow, there's a fire. You know, the art of seeing. And that is so. Kune not on the trans trans manje ito rim zimungua kas short dream kanu itika we kakasin kasu kanu itika in the afternoon kanu kona itika chero manero chero any time. But it's something that we not on the dance na kumina surara na daka muka. But something just came in and then told me something. It's it's it's, it's, it's we still define it as a vision. Supernatural appearance. Something chingori supernatural. A lot of people do that. They go to Nongoti, Chero, Urukumba, 
Pana kuita some something changu changu cha famba, cha tweetika. It just happens within a split second. It's gone. And you start telling people, guys, punish the wound up. Chakadai, chakadai, chakadai. You're describing it. People can't understand what you're saying. It's a supernatural appearance. It's a vision. Concept of Wombe, are you able to decode that vision and say, what is it exactly? What is it exactly? Zanajitipanu zoda kushandwa. A lot of effort. A lot of effort. When, you, when a vision has been declared into your life, then there's a lot of effort that needs to be done. Someone say amen. I hope Robert is not going to say it's going to be done. Number three, definition, a thought, a concept. This is the end. I'm going to run down. I'm going to try to get a bit detailed. It's a thought or a concept. Or number, that's, that's within the same line, or an object formed by imagination. <coughs> a thought or a concept. A thought, it's an idea. Something that just kicks within your mind. It's something you know what to wow. Wow. How this, how, how can this be done? So as later, mind you, because you know, you know Shanda from our minds work from what happened in our lives. Please remember, I used to find out to me that I'm not going to be Africans. I'm Africans. I'm not going to be a Teresa. I'm not going to be a woman. I'm not going to be a Africa. It's background. So we're coming from very poor backgrounds and very poor environments. Weak, totally weak. A single TP belief yekuti we can do something. Our background doesn't give us a belief that you can start something, an international something that can take a lot of people and help millions or thousands of people to be able to achieve now something. That is also Patrick Tangira Pa vision. To go to vision, chin which no fana kunge chizo batira humanity or helping a lot of people or my systems edukuraram to better them, to make them better. That's what is called a vision. Not just the concept of saying, saying I want to make money. That's not a vision. A vision, you know, finally in a, a lot of mara ambo kupi. You can go to a market. For what reason? No. It's only the devil who does that. But mara chaye kanati go to a mari. And for any reason, in other words, for no chita mari is nezis, nezis, nezis. Ninge shi achi from life yavan. Africa. Kwa kwa wamera kuti. We are coming from weak, very weak backgrounds. The single TP uh, conception it is strong enough to believe in ourselves, to believe in our own abilities, to believe in your own talent, in your own gift, to believe your own mind. Chakato woma in the tambura samfundis. Kuti mun ango tenda kuti fungwa zake zaruk funga zozo. Because that's our African mindset. Our African mentality, everyone who brings up an idea, as long as that person is not an achiever, as long as he has nothing to achieve, that's why it's very easy to strive. Because we believe that he has achieved. So it means with everything, he has achieved. But you want to do funga change. But because I wanna back up, no one supports that idea. No one says you are doing well. No one claps hands for you. You you always look down even on your own self. And then you look down on your own ideas. So when you start defining vision, she did say thought. Because you know almost every thought you win now. You don't have to shoot down way. Because you are looking at where you're coming from. When you when you when it comes as a thought, it can say a vision, a trance, a dream. It will none. We all know what's out of it. It can be a thought, a thought. A thought. But the book of Zimbabwe. 2023, 2024. 
You start shooting it down because you are looking at your background. Are you still with me? You are looking at your mother, you are looking at your father, you are looking at their background, and you are thinking with no support system. Yet God is not looking at your father. He's not looking at your mother. He's looking at the many people that need to be helped. And God is saying, if someone has to rise up, Jan winding up with this vision, and then over Ikanda, Kwauri Wewe is a thought. A thought. An idea. And if I want to raise you to a level where you Please, every time you have an idea, you have a thought, forget about your past. <laughs> I don't know how to make people forget about their past. Was Paul around in your life? One thing that I do is as I what? I forget the past. That's why he was successful. He was successful. He never walked with Jesus. Paul and I'm Fabana Jesu. And a Peter Vangwa to Rinan. Every time that they would think about an idea to do ministry or to heal the sick or to cheat, they have any reference. You tell your guys, Mirai, is it a Fabana Jesu Ajita Mamira goza? And I got to think about Simbari with it. So they had a reference. And they would demand, would you respect me? I was with Jesus. You know, I was with Jesus. Did I Fabana? Did I do it side by side? If you respected Jesus, respect me now. Because Ninda Zoya, Dao Paritza. Paul did not have all that reference. And he had a past, he was killing Christians. That was his past. His past was like he, he, he was remembered. That was his past. He knew himself as a murderer, a loser, someone who was not even deserving to be part and parcel of the preaching team of the kingdom of God. But, but one thing that he did, <laughs> that's why he was able to preach to the Gentiles. Because one thing that he did was to tell my Gentiles, he said, guys, if I, if I could for, be forgiven, who are you not to be forgiven? Why don't you work from now? And he forgets about what happened in your life. You can totally forget about hey, Africa. Most of Africa, people will remind you. If you can't remind yourself, people will remind you themselves. Before, before you go any further, <laughs> Let's remind you This is how you grew up. That's Africa. So naturally now, look at us as a third world nation, uh, nation um, struggling to pick up ourselves, to build up our visions and everything and everything. Takwita say we second class citizens in this world. Reason. We think everything based on our past. That's why Nas Ukanzi was successful, whether as a politician or as a CEO of an organization, as a church leader. The first thing Chauno Funga could develop a Kumusha Queen, and would develop a Maiva, they would develop a Baba, they would develop a life. It's all about you, 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 you. And as long as it's like that, you can carry the vision of God. You can't. You can't. So naturally, you discover my CEO is AWS. They are surrounded by their own people. My politicians, AWS, they are surrounded by their own people. It's all about your friends, your, your family, your everyone, your everyone, your everyone, and nothing about the vision. So. Zimbabwe, for instance, to an extent, you have to raise the one. You have to understand that everyone else has got a need. And a need when God has raised me and given me an idea that can prosper other people, I should be able to manage it just like that. Without me being the center. So you discover every time Pang was panning whoop, you will know what always. You will. We say, do work. And everyone else, I want to. So looting is prevalent in our countries. They might get a looting, I'm going to check it out against Momu. 
wallet. But everyone wants to just take it for himself. It's just for you. It's just for you. And it is nothing. Our visions have nothing to do with others. It is not to do with others. It is not to do with others. It is not to do with others. It is a it's a small mentality which is which is heavily heavily connected to our past so every time you are thinking i can't but i want to come out of this struggle and just i would rather just have everything whatever it means if everyone else lacks i don't care as long as in inda buddha because i'm fighting for my own life Listen to me guys. I think I feel it's a small mentality. It's a very small mentality that is based on our past. Saka tele kandi kudze. Zvayazo ita manje iyo yo small mentality. Yabve yazoti limiter to an extent yekuti auchato believe. Kune vakawanda vedu. 90% of us we don't believe that we can do something that is international that is global our mindset is so so limited to local we are too local to go international we are too individualistic to have to carry a vision that is global i beg you one thing that i do that's what Paul says. I forget what. The past. So to akuru asna busi zvakato pfura na mwari wana dzohana. Ichi ngori home imhosva iyo kuti kwambogwirire usina busi zvokuti uri ndoti hada. Ngangofunga funga chete, ngangofunga funga chete. Hapana mwe munhu anofana kuita chimwe chimwe. Ngangofunga funga. Uri kwaofunga kuti Ana strife masiwa. I have money, I have all this money that I have. He's a billionaire. But I don't know what it, I, I, don't know, I don't know how to sleep in two beds at the same time. So I discovered I don't need to. I only need. I don't know how to drive two cars at the same time. So I, 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 then, I then figured to say, ah, guys, I don't need two cars. I need G. One. That's a billionaire's mindset. <laughs> That's a billionaire's mind. That's a billionaire's cheap mindset. But but yeah, this is the marry. You want to have twenty cars parked in your garage because we're not going to have to go and 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 have to go Saka naturally muno zvona zvazvinoita. Ku Africa you then see kuti what other what then happens ndi zvokuti in Africa nano riser aita ma shops oita oita business oita mari ndi tika otenga mota dzakawanda nedzimba dzakawanda ndizvo but by the time that person dies he has nothing at all because all those things ma perishable it it the, you know kuti you are Maria Ongoshfanakwisa into the vision. You are now using it to build yourself an empire. Yeah. Because Maranga kupa vision. And then vision here, yeah, 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 kukura. And as it is growing, you are seeing the money. And Maria, you are going to be able to do Not into the vision. So, <sighs> now you build an empire. Yeah. But, but, but God is fair. God is fair. You just make sure that he takes everything and still gives it back to the community. So you're still going to lose everything. If you don't build a vision, you're going to lose the vision. If you lose the vision, you lose provision. <laughs> the provision was not for you. The provision was not for the vision. Every provision that you get out of any vision that you are driving, it's for the vision. It's not for you. Iwewe, marano kubvumiza kuti ujike 
part of that vision because you're working in that vision. Is you're working, yes, you can have one, two, three, four, five things that you need, but you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't amass all this wealth and put. God will not just just make you a billionaire for no reason. That's why you discovered most of all these billionaires. Because he doesn't, it, it, it doesn't mean billionaire my assets. Billionaire, in changing other countries and building buildings that he doesn't even need to sleep into. No, 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 that's our mentality. But the people that are like our strive, strive was reading one of his um, uh, testimonies that I can buy in a company in, an, in, an, in a country and never take the profits out of that company for a minimum of four years. <laughs> How many years? Four. Profits. And imagine with the invest. I saw Mary, I think I a company. And I don't see Dogan also and did see I don't know you take a can of I'm not going to even go there. Come on, you change this way. I'm not going to change Fine. On what some systems I can run my organization. When he puts that, he says, let the company go on. Let it benefit when we are going to be in our salaries. We are going to be in our salaries. And now my presidents, they call him and say, can you come and open up a business in our country? They know that this guy is not just thinking about looting their nation. Taking their gold and their diamond. No. This guy is coming to build them. Because he is interested in vision, not in the provision. Someone say amen. Do you still want the vision? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. That is also, it's a thought. This is what I just explained. It's a thought. Guys, this is why. Okay, when I take a thought, something big can come out of your own hands, your own mind, your own brains. It's, it's called a vision. And that thing can help people. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about your past. Don't worry about your past. Don't worry about your past. I'll tell you, just with my studies, I'm a visionaries. 90% of visionaries came from nothing in this world that are holding down this world and making it tick. They came from very poor background. If you look at their past, most of them, most of them, if you go down into the Bible, my vision is they say they came from the poorest of the poorest. Anana David, Anana, Anana, Anana. You can talk about any one of them. Yana Samuel. Huh? Visionary. There was no open vision. Samuel. But look at Samuel. From a, a, a suffering and a mind like a and just gets my vision. My visions, man, Vakata successful my visions. Van Vakava from very poor and struggling families. God raised them. That's why I just watched Van was very coco. The whole nation and all of us. But God allowed him to go through all those places. Because one of the things that God, I've seen with visionaries, is that God entrusts a person who has no pride. A person who thinks about others first before himself. A person who is not selfish. Those people become visionaries. Visionaries. Huh? Maraka kupi vision, imenda kumun. 
uti nwa ka hotel unto rati yei na kumbu chika mari yangu ni kafa kuni kadu kwa chika dona chukutu mseri chika dona ni kafa you are thinking too much about yourself you you can't even think about kwa kwa mwa nwa yesi waka experience all that experience you might not even need to experience it yourself others need it the world needs it God sees it fit that others should also experience that Ndrotra ya kukubisa imu uma tuma small visions. Mbosi katakata kwa tawara nyaye vision. Waka wanda. Takata wata tebo ya madu maa sinichi. Tawamu kubisa hiko. Let's talk about big visions. Move back from your past. I want you to move off your past and think big. Think big. Because it's a thought. It's an idea. Think big. Think big. Think millions. Think billions. Think national. Think global. Go to move out of your local zone. Enter into some spiritual system that you don't know. No. Because naturally when we talk about thoughts, don't think about what you already know. No, think outside the box. Outside of the box. Think about something that no one has ever done. No one has ever done. Bring up an idea of something that's not even there. Don't use vision. Not just, not just repeating what others are doing. That's what we talk about. Just following in the footsteps of the moon. Because the things are going to And we we all following that. That's not a vision. That's not a vision, guys. That's not a vision. That's not a vision. That's not a vision. That's not a vision. We are not talking about visions. We are 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 talking about formed by imagination an object formed by imagination you can start to see something in your mind it's got to form by imagination can we say that's a vision yes that's a vision that's what that's a vision don't don't look down on that it could be something that can turn around the world which you go meditate on something, and then you know, show your out love or something that you love it. So take a good form, make a show as an imagination. So we don't, we don't. Na 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 na. Chichai tik. Whatever. What is it exactly that has? But you can actually remember the details of that thing. It's called a vision. It's not only one amari. The amari are not just former. Mama minds evan. Could you also read? They are forming things within their minds. It's an imagination. It's how the power of imagination. But it's just to discuss a triple level your vision. Number the last part. The mode of seeing or conceiving. 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 You can you I will not imagine. I don't know what you want, but it's being it chiruku famba famba in your spirit, somewhere down in your life. There's something that's moving, that's telling you you can do something. It's not only tika ish. You know what's in your spirit, ma? But you could do this. We say imagine. This is what is real. This is what tika say. I'll squeeze it. You know, you know, you know, Buddha house. You know. You know, like you can't, but no more. It's more of a feeling. It's it's a conception. It's 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 something that you can sense inside you. Kuti guys, na nskura bantu pa me. Dujinswa, dujin. Anskwa na angu dwa wenda kopi kwa. But chase chase zoga. Anskwa bora. Zashiri zashiri zashukura basha kai. Anskwa bora bantu pa. You sit down with your wife and you start telling me, ah, my man. Kazira. Men who are to love in this one, I'm right. Men who are to love in this one, I'm right. Because when you're going something is about to happen. But I don't know exactly. My man, I'm going to say, I'm going to have a vision. I'm going to say, I'm going to have a vision. I'm going to have a vision. I'm going to have a vision. But it's a conception. It's something that's boiling within your spirit. That's telling you, you're not going to be ordinary. You're going to be extraordinary. You're going to be a leader of something. You, you're going to, to start something. You're going to make money out of something. You're going to build something. 
You're going to change something. You're going to change a story, a narrative. You're going, to, you're going to bring forth something. You're going to give birth to something. You sense it in your spirit. You feel it in your life. You are happy, you are excited about it, but you can't really put your hands around it to say, it is this. It's a conception. You, your foot, you know, the vision. It's the art of conceiving something. How about getting my definition? It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming. The art of conceiving something. To not just in naturally when I'm doing my prophetic declarations, I do that a lot. Because I look at a person, something is conceived in my spirit. I can see it. I can't imagine exactly which is right to How? But I just sense it in my spirit. Ah! Something is, God is saying something about this person. And I believe if I pray for this person and I encourage this person to rise up and do this, it can be done. And then I rise, I jump over someone and I pray over that person. They show me one of them swords because so I have conceived it. I have conceived it. I have. This person can ask me to say, how is it going to happen? I don't even know also. I don't know too. But I sense it. I feel it. I have conceived it. I, it's God speaking to you. It's God telling you that this can be that. This is possible. And I want you to know that you can have that even for your own child. You can have that even for your sister. You can have that for your mother. You can have that for someone, for your friend. You can have that. Which is what Ningi saw, Ningi saw. So Andrew Gunz, what Ningi can, Ningi can do something, guys. This person. And this was the I would love to say, but I, I sense it that something can happen to someone. And if, it's, if it's someone Agadaro and that person conceives something for you and tells you and prays for you, I'll tell you, it's only a matter of time. You guys are just able. You just have to work not from your past, but from the present. And so Jesus just did say, Africans are bad. Work from the current word. It's a rhema word. That's coming, that, that God is just deposited into someone's spirit. And telling him, please, who you call you, can do this. So, as soon as we do that, as leaders, we do it. So, you look at the person and say, oh, this person, that you conceive, this person can become your pastor. But he has no more you. Has to much understand that. Has to much understand. Has to much that. And just look at this. Say, wow. Hey, I am one who is ziva. So do we know about what he can be? This person would 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 pick this, pick this, pick this. You know. And then now it means if it's a vision, you have then to work it out. You then sit down with this person. Do you know that God can really use you? If you ever have a dream or a vision or something towards going this direction, because I sense something very strong about this area of your life. But I want you to then understand which my systems and front of follow you so that you can then achieve that. As soon as we are on a silver plate. So wonder when you give them as a prophecy or as a word of declaration, they'll just believe it will happen on its own. But there's, there's a lot of workload. Because you, you can go and actually negate everything that God has said to someone or that he has con- made you to someone to conceive. So uh, 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 it, it then does not work. It then does not work. Because understand that. And, and that's why a lot of people die with a lot of visions. Because the vision has been delivered. The dream has come. The conception has come. But someone can't understand it. Because I'm expecting someone to start dressing <coughs> like that. And take, changing step. As you found out like that. Because something is already... It, you know when it's a vision, you know what tanga for the moment that conception is done, that idea has come, that thought has come. Someone is supposed to start walking towards that direction. So the when you do my declarations, they pick it and start moving like that. But others, they don't. And it's, it's, it's a thorn in the flesh. It's painful. 
because someone can't understand something that you say. You know what you can be if you only knew what you can be. You would start walking like that. Which is dedicated at times. You have a vision on your head. There is something so big that you are supposed to do. Maybe you need to set time to pray. Give yourself almost every day 30 minutes to pray. Or 30 minutes to listen to the word. And allow yourself to start building muscle. Muscle. Strength towards a very strong vision that you have. And it an idea of something. It shows you how to shand one. You shand one. That idea has to be worked out to, to bring it to fruition. Hmm. So, what again? Yeah. I'll never forget when God gave me a vision for this church. It's been long, but you know, it comes so, so strong on your spirit. Can I really be a leader? Can I do that? Can I do that? How do I talk to people? How will I manage? I don't think I can talk. I don't think I can speak well. Anna Moses. That's me. That was exactly me. And you, you know that I can't. But it's so strong on you. So strong. So powerful on you. And it's driving you crazy. You know, you can't sleep. Wake up. You're looking at it. And, and, and imaginations start rolling through your spirit. Through your mind. Through your eyes. You know, you're looking at the internet. You are looking in anyway, but that's what you are only seeing. It's boiling down in your spirit. But 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 is not so is you have so you ramba. And then you find someone who starts to give you direction. So it's done like that. You get find the magic You do it to yourself when you know bastard sky. He says, it's okay. I'm willing to work it out. Because already the conception is in my, is my spirit. And he started working on it. Started working on it. And this is one thing that keeps me going. One thing that keeps me going as a pastor is not the message that I preach. It's not the anointing that moves. It's not the numbers of people. It's not the healings and the deliverances. It's not the breakthroughs they've had. No. What keeps me going is the vision. That's it. That's the only thing that makes me mad. It helps me to stand even when I'm supposed to be down. It helps me to drive when I'm supposed not to drive. When I'm supposed to be tired and saying, it keeps me going. When people don't come to church and I'm alone, I, it still drives me. It still kicks in my spirit. It tells me, you're going to be that. It's still going to happen. Don't look at all these the outsiders. Don't look at all these things that are minimized. Don't look at the lack of resources and don't worry about all these things. It's going to be achieved. It drives me crazy. It makes me so powerful, so strong. And I keep going. And I keep going even at the weakest of my life. Even at the point of my weakest, weakest aim. I still pick up myself and run the race. Because the vision keeps driving says, you are somewhere. You're going somewhere. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. So it's not about the numbers. It's not about the people. It's not about the money. It's not about the resources. It's not about the achievements. It's not about the, the testimony. It's not about people celebrating you. No. It has nothing to do with all that. It is everything to do with what I saw, what I felt, what I feel from the beginning, what I felt from the beginning. Do I still feel the same vision? Yes. I feel it. I feel the vision. I said, yeah, I said, yeah, I said, yeah, I still feel it. I still need to go ahead and do something. Drive it. Drive it. Drive it. Drive it. And I push. And I keep pushing. Vision is powerful. It's powerful. It's powerful. Do it slowly. So that everyone here, imagine that God is everyone. God is giving that person a vision to do something. But this is what we lack: the knowledge, the understanding. 
Watch your way, Bob. Watch your way, Bob. All right, let me wrap up. I still have a few more minutes. Let me just wrap up. Yeah, but cut my definitions. I wanted to drill down on definitions today. Proverbs 29:18, Tagati says, where there is no vision, the people perish. So first Samuel chapter number three, verse number one, that there was no open vision. And Wana Pasna open vision, people perish. It means people when when uh, when God is withdrawn his visions, people can't do much on their own. People are limited. Yes, poor capacity. But a lot of it in terms of instinct, direction, vision, knowledge, thoughts, all that is to come from God. And God is to be giving people that. And can a person an open vision, it means people are in danger, in serious danger. Let me wrap up on what we spoke uh, uh, about. But he that keepeth the law, that's Proverbs 29, 18, but he that keepeth the law, happy is he. And I was talking about what, what the law is. What the law is. But he that keepeth the law. No one knows how to pay. Pekuti. Kana mare akupa vision. Kune ma systems ano fana kubati la uti vision. Ndio ite say is one ekwa. Vision aiwo ai budirire because wa irota because wa iwona. Kwa tuona a complete thing. Jesu kwa tuona. Jesu kwa tuona kwa tuziwa. Even never dates who have been now, even nature. I would read it because of his social. You know, would read it because you are able to keep the law. That's point number one. You are able to keep the law. What is the law? Number one is the written biblical law because vision comes from God. When a vision comes to, from God, you know, Bekwanema laws are in the Bible. A rich, a rich, a rich, a rich. Shaka nyoro wa mshoko ramar. No ba nani shita rama concept sa ya ba ramar. Strive masiwa anot. I will still continue to refer to him because that will create like a billionaire mindset. This one. Strive masiwa anot. Every day that I woke up in the morning, the first thing that I do is not to go to the gym. It's not to bath. Not to eat, not to prepare for work. The first thing that I do every day is to listen to the word. I give myself a minimum of 30 minutes of just listening to the word. And, and there's a long story there on the power of the word. There's a long story. One, the word is a war. Is a jura war. You know, Guti, if you are strife massi one as if you have a business that's going that's that's all over the world. And you know, Guti, in reality, I have enemies and people that want to destroy that business. Some of the enemies are powerful politicians in those nations. Some of these people that are trying to take away this vision and this business that I am building are greedy people, corrupt people that want to just destroy everything that I'm building. And you know, I, I am just a nobody. Come on, I got my sins in. Something that I can really put down to say I can protect this whole thing by my own capacity. And what you need to keep all that going is the word. Listen. Ukarota wope, dangupe ya wangu ma tips. Ukarota wope, uchuruma nenyoka. Uchumaniswa nenyoka. Something bad, bad happening to your life. Nangu chuza wangu nyoka was very, very deadly. In a dream. The first thing that you do when you wake up, ukarota uchuruma, the first thing that you do before anything happens, please listen to the word. And I do that. It's enough to protect you. If there is something that was very close, in your life, 
that word is able to protect you. The word is able to protect you. If you give a bad dream, a very negative something that's about to happen, because that was dreams, that was my dreams up. Are positive? That was real. Are negative? Yes. Any torne system you got to gather or data, you know it out the IT. So I know it is a egg. She was not your wife. I know it is a egg. I know it is a egg. You also not gonna be much in charge. I was a can't be system you got push. And dream is only a way I'm going to realize there's something, there's a train that's coming against your life. There's something that's being driven by some people. When we are going to die, we are going to bomb. We are going to destroy. We are going to ruin. Could dream come on? God might not show you all that that happened. We are not going to go around the nyoka. It's who we are so and striking you. He's just trying to conscientize you and bring you to say you need a lot of protection. You need a lot of covering. Can I explain further? Ukarota uchu maisha ni nyoka uchitana sana ni nyoka ziva kuti spiritual capacity yako to protect yourself idiki you can't you can't au bone kutemba au bone kutemba kuna mata kumuna mata yawa kaita because it's not working it's not working na yangu ishanda mudrimu ni wangu na wangu juu maisha nyoka na yangu ishanda which means kuti boss mina mata yako I told you. It, it grows you. Your word grows you. All these things grow you. It's all about you. And what you have done so far, your sacrifices, they grow you. The, your, your giving, everything that you have done for God, it grows you. It grows your spiritual capacity. The spiritual man within you. But it is so far. It means whatever so far you have done has such a capacity to fight the battles that you are fighting. It might be because my battles are akakura kupfura what you have done so far. Or it might mean kuti watch you haven't worked yourself so hard spiritually to get to a level you kuti wakwansa ku overcome my battles ako weka. Yes, but can a spiritual capacity have a cura? Unongo shito ataka diwe. Chelo wakawia, unongo shizi wakawia varitene. Tika waruwe rawe sipasi kukua ya ime nyoka, tika yuraya, tika yimanyista, tika yitwaka, tika yibata, 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 the word that you have heard, the sacrifice that you have made, the giving that you have done, everything that you have done is still able to sustain you. But we not understand this for It means you still need covering. You still need protection because where the capacity yako, I said you are going to protect something, some, something, something. I'm going to digress a little bit. So, but you Andy. So, ha, muno shumba tayari wanuko tuzi. Ah, wana. The written biblical law, number one. Do you understand know number one? Understand? Bible not this out is so. You have to listen to the word of God or to read the word of God every day. Read it daily. Daily, the Bible. That's the written biblical law. Don't go by my 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 excerpts of what it means. Just because we are we are not a strife at his level, he listens to the word every day. Chero, no matter our business, no matter our I know my meetings, no matter our copy. Before he goes to the gym, before he starts to have his breakfast, before he starts preparing for the next meeting, before he starts doing whatever he has to do, he listens. To the word. Listening to the word in advantage than reading the word. In advantage. Because when you're listening to a sermon, it's, it's easier. In a revelation, it's easier. In a revelation, it's easier. You just eat quick, my conflicts, something quick. That just keeps you. And then you're going to go back to 
ndizva kanakira word raka kana tsa kuita rekuverenga kazhinji kacho ama bonzo endi kazhinji zvazvo noita zvekuti tinogona kuverenga chapter ukotadza kuwana kana revelation kana wana and i've always told you ndakakudza endi kati the word that is able to help you is the word that you have conceived if you can't capture it into your spirit ah zvakawanda zvazvo zvacho if you can't capture the word we are verenga ukasa capture anything mind yakwe ka capture anything it can't go down to your spirit because between between your spirit and what you have in the physical is your mind if your mind can't conceive it it has closed the door so it can't take anything from the physical to the spirit so it's not even adding anything saka ukarota hope uchiburuma nenyo kwa muka usen ukaverenga 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 ukatadza uzi conceive it will not help you because it can't build your spirit no the no the easiest way so in a normal way our media team they should be able to release a word a day a word a day a word a day a word something that you just li- randomly even usta hope dza kwarota dza kwarota dzakaipa just kungozivha kuti ndine ma projects angu ari kurun kuno kona kuitika anything ndine zvinhu zvangu zvari zviri kuitika kuno kona anything ndine vana vangu somewhere kuno kona kuitika anything and i need to just protect them how do you protect them if your spirit is not able to rise up if your spirit is not fed up if your spirit is sleepy because it is hung <laughs> of the word how do you how do you cover your business your everything everything kwa usiri ezvino zviri uri pana pa church how do you cover something that is that's that's not where you are your 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 deal ra waita agreement maskat munhu achaka ndokufona nabangwa how do you how do you protect it from being destroyed by someone it's only the word guys it's only the word the word is your jewel the word is your jewel the word the word is your jewel this way so what is you know the written if you are if you have a vision you must be able to follow up on the written biblical law which means you have a word a day you have a word every day that keeps you in line that speaks to your life but it, it just awakens your spirit whichever zvaraita but it's able to build your spirit and make you a strong spiritual person ah uh, maybe zvawa this number 2 the law it means he who is able to keep the law happy is he number 2 is the law of a discipline the law of a discipline if you are going to achieve any discipline in this world there are certain fundamentals that you have to keep one yacho is the ability to do it over and over again until you grow so if you get a vision what do you do if you get a vision that would say spiritually number one, what you do is get the bible as the anchor the bible the word of god is your anchor anchor your vision on the word on the word of god how do you anchor your your vision on the word of god you listen to the word every day or every time and time again so that the word of god is able to build your spirit number 2 you are able to put discipline discipline to your vision we went we were a visionary watch discipline my man discipline discipline yo bane a maka wanda tingato square discipline to square zvinhu zvino gavhena zvinhu zvao singaite I wake up at 5. That's a discipline. Au akuna muna ne vision anongoti nasi ndabofungwa kuti ndisipenda kubasa. Iyo ne vision. Akuna zvinhu zvakadaro. Akuna zvinhu zvakadaro. Akuna zvekuti ndiri kufila. 
It's a discipline. It's a discipline. It's a discipline. I don't know what I'm doing. It's a discipline. Yeah. I wake up. I have a vision to run. I have a vision to run. You're running that vision. You, you go to sleep, tell me off and run. You wake up, tell me off and I'll move. I have a discipline. You put yourself discipline. Put yourself a uh, discipline. You have a vision. You have a vision to achieve. You have a vision to achieve. You have a vast vision to achieve. And you, discipline is key. So I wonder, I want to run out of hope. One of my visions. But I want to discipline. I want to go to Africa. Aha. I want to discipline, guys. People have no discipline at all. To follow up. Vision. You want to go on a way, you want to go on a way. Aha. I want to go on and you can't be a visionary if you have to if you have to have someone and you have follow up just put you uzi wa 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 you can't wake up at five. You can't wake up at six. You are so random. I'm not disciplined. So, you, at times you wake up at four, and at times you wake up at seven, and an hour later, an hour later. And, and, and your life is just like that. No discipline, no direct. And I'm going to tell you, people vision, they strive. You still never be able to achieve it. Until you have the smallest vision, you still not be able to run that vision. At the end of the day, that vision will crumble. So a lot of people, we die with our visions. Not because it was not doable, but because we didn't have the discipline to obey the Lord. Can you try to pay that? Can you try to pay that? Reason for it, Baba. Number three, the law of vision. Law of vision, in OT, you stay with the vision. You don't change. In OT, you don't what? <laughs> you don't change. The law of vision. The law of vision. You might start it very, very small. You don't start to do something else new. You wake up, you start doing something else. You wake up again, you start doing something else. And then you shift again. vision. vision. But not a vision. And people perish. You're like a dog that's chasing his tail. So what is you tell it? I I I still refer to him. Strive must see not. Nagaita Agaita study. You go Mombe. The Mukaka. So no check it was say. Mombe the Mukaka. So check it was say. So no say. say. No say. say. No say. No say. She says no do I then wrote down everything that's needed. Go to Natanga. Go check it out. Mombe the Mukaka. And then he posted by Facebook. And then nobody. When other go check it out. Mombe the Mukaka. Please check it out. He's not I am a telecoms guy. I finish. <laughs> I don't change. That's who, that's who I am. And check it out. But now check it out. Check it out. That's what you are studying. Because you are allowed to study something that you are not going to do just for the purposes of studying it and knowing it. A bunch of people are studying about it. But that's not you. You will own a vision. Stay with the, the law of vision. You know, when you start a vision, Follow through that vision. Through the ups, through the downs. But this is what you know, Africa is going to die. It's 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 going to so I to achieve a vision. life as long as there is food on the table, that's not a vision. Vision, you know, for provide for the extended family, your brothers, your sisters, other people within the community, church, 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 church. They don't vision. As long as that's okay. I know, but in at least my lot of them are no good. I want to 
Could the first thing that I will give you is food on the table. street kid food on the table. But a visionary, you have to go beyond you. You have to go beyond you. You have to go beyond you. You have to think about uh, what, whether others have also eaten, whether others also have, have got something. So the law of vision, you know, to stay within that vision, your people. I don't know what I'm going to process. I'm going to go to the UK. I'm going to go to the UK. I'm going to go to the UK. Guys, you're wasting your time. You're talking to a visionary. I'm telling you. You're talking to, I don't go and do K. Me. Me. Caring. <laughs> don't do that. Let people go. I'll pray for them. I release them to go and take care of uh, the sick and what what in the UK and get a lot of money. I, 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 that's okay with me. Even if they get billions, I don't care. I want them to get billions. I'm a visionary. Me, move me out of a vision. I would have us. We don't like crane, grade, ne, ne bulldozers. They say it one go, but you still will be able to move me. I don't move the good arrow. I'm a visionary. I'm a visionary and I know what vision entails. It entails tough times and difficult times. And, and I'm prepared to go through those, those things. I'm building a vision. I know what I saw. And I'm prepared to work that vision until I get it. Before I die, something big is going to come out of this vision. Even if I die without achieving it, I'm willing to wait until I die <laughs> without seeing it. And if I die without seeing it, I still believe that God will raise someone who will carry this vision and take it to the next level. And make sure that the vision is conserved. It's taken to the end. Ah. <laughs> it is the law of vision. That's the law of vision. The law of vision means you don't change. You don't change. Me. Start selling my spark plugs. I don't, I don't sell spark plugs. <laughs> I, I, I don't sell computer something. <laughs> I don't do that. I don't do that. I had a poor vision when I was just doing anything. Now I've got a vision. I don't do everything. Mm. I have options. This was plenty of options. I have plenty of options, even outside the country, even here. I have plenty of options. Besides, I still have many organizations still saying, please come back. Please, please come back. How much money do you want? I'm refusing. I'm refusing. Every day, every day I, I have a call that's coming from someone. Every day. Literally. Ah, I'm a visionary, guys. <laughs> I, I'm not moved by all that nonsense. When they, yeah, that's, that's a whole lot of nonsense. Let others do it. Someone say amen. The last one. The law of principles. If you follow principles, principles are slow. But if you follow down my principles, you will make it. That's why I'm going to have to my principles. Because my principles are as fast. Ukata my corner. Look fast. Principles mean you have certain things that you say whatever it takes. So I was reading one year strife actually. When I go into a country, most countries what they do is my ministers and they knock at my off, uh, at my door, motel uh, and they come by night and say strife. We want to give you a license. We're going to operate a uh, telecoms company, Muno. But just give me some kickback. Akati, the countries are one. I walked out because I have principles. I would rather lose the money, the business, the everything. If it means I'm going to get it through corruption, I don't do corruption. It's a principle. It's a principle. It's a principle that I accepted. I'm not just in business to make money. I'm in business to develop life, Devan. 
So it's not just about the opportunity. I want to grab this opportunity. So I would rather just pay everyone and get the opportunity. It's not just about that. The principles. So when you start preaching about this in church, everyone goes quiet. <sighs> it's the law of principles. Guys, I'll tell you. Time up. You have certain principles that you say, this is what I do. I don't do this. And it's now time you go to a deep, deeper side. But I'll tell you, if you have a vision for something, in terms of principles, I, not, I don't do this. I don't do that. I don't do that. I don't do that. And see whether your vision will collapse. Because the, remember, it's something that came from God. Would, would God give you something that he does not back up? Would God tell strife that you will go to the nations? Psalms, Psalms 2 verse 8, Psalms 2. Yeah, this anchor verse, that I can strive on it. I have given, I have given you the nations. The nations is your price. The nations, I have given you the nations. <laughs> Would God tell him that this is what I have done? I've given you the nations. And then he doesn't support him when he goes to Nigeria. He doesn't support him when he goes to Liberia. And he has to leave him to suffer and struggle with himself. No. I want us to close and pray. I wish Christians would understand how God is able to give you a vision, a provision, a support system, the people to help you, the systems that back you up, the power and the anointing that helps you to quicken a vision. I, I pray Christians would come to a level where we understand that when God has shown me a vision, a dream, a thought, a conception, ideology, <coughs> Anything that is boiled within your spirit and you say it's a vision. Whatever God has given you, God himself, himself is able to make sure that he raises you and makes you that. It will show we are mad. It will idea ya mad. Mara kutu za urara. Kutu ya menge shuwa tu wa shika paakati unufana wa shika. Don't worry about all those negatives that will come around that vision. It's part and parcel of it. God will enable you to still fly above the storms. Let the storms come. we follow through on principles. He that keepeth the law. He, Proverbs 29, 18. He that keepeth the law. But that's are four different compartments of the law. The Bible. The discipline. The law of vision. Stay within that vision. And then lastly, the law of principles. Four laws. Four laws. The law of principles. 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 In any, I'm, I'm a preacher, but I'll tell you, I listen to the word every day. I listen to the word. Never preachers I'm going to tell you. And my message is, I can't say that. My iPad, I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that. You can say my message, I'm going to nothing else. Messages only. Memory says that. Pa! memory card bomb. So, pa! Everything. It's only the word. Nothing else. Because I know when Dunema attacks so, they are coming against my life every day. And I need the word as my cover. I need the word as a lifestyle. I listen to the word. If I have a word and you pick up motors on the channel drive, the next thing that I do is, is listen to the word. I go home listening to the word. I sleep. 
after listening to the word. Because mind you, I'm not going in a fresh information of the word. Not of what might it is doing or what is happening on, on Facebook. No. I can browse through Facebook, just see one or two things during the day, but I, I can't sleep with, with Madame Boss in my mind. I can't do that. I'm telling you, because visions are going to come. So, because if, I, if you sleep with a thought, naturally, those are the dreams that come. I have to perfect my dream. I'm listening to the story of yeah, 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 Abraham. I'm still listening to the story of yeah, Jacob. I'm listening to the story of yeah, Isaac. I'm listening to something that gives me, that gives God an opportunity to speak with me. So through the night, I'm being, being given visions and dreams and ideas that is to do with ministry, that is to do with growing the vision that God has given me. Things that strengthen me. I'm just weak and God just wants to strengthen me and gives me visions ideas or brings me back to those things. But I'm serious I'm serious about, about that. I'll, I'll continue on Sunday. I, I, have, I have disciplines. Discipline, I, I have put myself under a leech. I, I, I discipline myself every day. I tell myself I don't do that. I tell myself I don't do that. I have many options every day. Was I talk to people every day. And every day, there's always that other thought to say, why don't I just do it this way? Why don't I just do it this way? I discipline myself. I tell myself, I don't do that. Stay within my line. If I don't grow, let it be so. If, it don't, if I don't succeed, let it be so. There are disciplines that I don't break. Not for any reason. So it's not just with Maraka Kupa Grace Regulator Vision. No. There's certain things that I don't just break. I stay within my vision. And that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. I'm willing to die here. Whatever it takes. And I follow through on principles. And Tambis, can we stand?